Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Word number 42. Hakseng. Hakseng. Again, our word for today is Hakseng, and this is simply the Korean term for student. Again, it's Hakseng. How do you write Hakseng in Hangul? This is composed of two syllables. For the first syllable, Hak, we need to draw first a Hyuk character, followed by an A character, followed by a Gyuk character. For the second syllable, Seng, we need to draw first a Siuk character, followed by an A character, followed by an Iung character. And that's how you write Hakseng in Hangul. Now let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, 저는 학생입니다. And the translation of this in English is, I'm a student. Just like the previous sentences, 저는 means I, and 학생 is our word for the day, and it means student. Just to add to our knowledge, let's define what is 입니다. So 입니다 is used to say it is, or this is used to declare something. It is normally used when answering questions or stating a fact or creating a declarative expression. And looking back to how imnida is used on our sentence, as you can see, imnida is just used here to indicate that this is a declarative sentence. We are simply declaring that I am a student. And student here is translated as haksang. And with that, you've just learned haksang. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As you can see, our previous 10 words are words number 32 to 41. But don't forget, our word for today, word number 42, it's Hakseng, which means student. The first word for our review is word number 41, it's Aniyeyo, and this is used to say, it's not. Word number 40 is ne, which is used to say yes. Word number 39 is anio, and this is used to say no. Word number 38 is check, which means book. Word number 37 is hakkyo, which means school. Word number 36 is mul, which means water. Word number 35 is toeyo, and this is used to say this is me or it is me. Word number 34 is saram, which means person. Word number 33 is Silya Hamnida. This is used to say, I'm sorry to disturb you or excuse me. And the last word for our review is word number 32, Kabang, which means bag. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.